welcome and thanks for watching. We're out here today and uh, we're gonna take a look at a little wolf muzzleloader 50 cal. Uh, season will be coming up pretty soon and uh, we've picked this up and uh, wanted to kind of share it with you. And uh, if you're in the market for one, uh, kind of tell you about what you're gonna be out and tell you a little bit about it. Now, you don't have to have a big expensive rifle. I've used these little wolf rifles, muzzle loaders, uh, for a long time. And uh, they're accurate, reliable, shoot every time. Uh, you gotta keep the maintenance on them, maintenance up on them. But uh, guys, they're, they're pretty reliable. Little muzzle loader. Now this is one, this is the breakdown action. And this one got your clean out here, comes out for easy cleaning. This is where your primer goes in. And, uh, but you can take that right out and just swab this one right out and clean it. Like an old shotgun, maybe. And uh, got a pretty good recoil pad. And guys, uh, this one come with a scope, a optic, and pretty clear. And 289, uh, guys, I don't think you can beat it. You get the whole package and uh, just a pretty nice muzzleloader. Now this one did have sights. We took those off because we wanted that scope down as low as we could possibly get it. And uh, that's just the way I like my optics, uh, as close as possible on that barrel. Uh, it gives you, uh, at, at four distances and closer distances, uh, you're not gonna be that much off. You get a scope sitting way up here and naturally your projectile is coming down to the barrel from the scope. So you're already gonna be two or three inches high if you've got your scope sitting up here. So I like to get them down as close as possible and uh, sight these in. And uh, around here, 100 yards, 150, that's about the tops in these mountains and woods. And so uh, this little 50 cal does a pretty good job. Now, guys, uh, this is your firing chamber, and it uses a 209, and when you do that, you can see right through that barrel. And uh, guys, easy cleaning, and uh, that's really nice. I like that, this comes right out. Now, you're gonna have a 22 inch barrel after your firing chamber goes back in. So uh, that's not bad. It seems to be pretty accurate, the, at least the ones that I've shot. And uh, I like to say this one's sighted in. And uh, so, I mean, not, not too bad. And this is a 50 caliber round. And I'm gonna show you some of those here just in a minute. Now the weight on this is not real bad. And the trigger pull, you know, this one you cock it, and guys, the trigger pull is real nice on this. I mean, uh, you wouldn't believe uh, how smooth that is. It's got a crisp break to it. And uh, I found these to be real reliable uh, and a good little hunting rifle. Now, I'm gonna pull you down here. And now this one is the 50 cal and so We've got some uh, ammo for this, and that's, uh, that's uh, 295 grain. That's what we've been using with this, so we're gonna stick with it. And the Pyrodex pellets. And now, I use two pellets. These are 50 grain uh, pellets. And so, I used to them, that's 100 grain, and that's all I've ever needed. Uh, does a great job. Now, on your rifle, you might want to experiment with that and see uh, uh, what shoots the best, what grain shoots the best. And some will use just plain black powder, uh, and you'll measure that out 50 grains, 70 grains, 80 grains, whatever. And then this, this one here uses the 209 primers, and uh, which is kind of hard to get right now. Uh, I actually need to get some more of these. Uh, we're just about out. So, uh, but 
we're trying to get this ready and what you're going to be out is it right at uh, i think the pellets are like under 20 bucks your uh, your uh, bullets are going to be somewhere around this is a power belt bullets and i they mount these at walmart for around uh 17 18 under 20 bucks so you're talking uh 320 bucks the rifle your pellets and then your primers and actually guys uh you're ready to go hunting and uh now we're going to be taking this up to our range and put some rounds through this and uh it's already sighted in but uh we'll uh we'll put some uh more rounds to it before hunting season there and uh show you how this little rifle shoots so guys uh i wanted to show this to you and tell you a little bit about it pretty nice little rifle for the money uh, you don't have to spend a lot to get a pretty good shooting little black powder rifle. And they do make these in a 45 caliber, and uh, I'm not for sure if they make this one in the 54 or not. But uh, the 45 I have used, that's a pretty good little caliber. Uh, kind of like it too. But now the 50 caliber will get the job done. So guys, as always, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all your views and comments. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up. It seems to help. And we'll see you all the next time out here at my little mini range having some fun on the walk with Al. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of y'all.